These aren't your kids. But how would you feel if they were? This isn't a TV show. This is reality. And it's happening right here in our community. Today's at-risk child in need of a positive influence in his or her life is also tomorrow's young adult in need of a meaningful job. Given what you've just seen, do you like their chances? A recent study estimated the external costs to society for the average criminal, a person who likely got their start using drugs and committing crimes in neighborhoods like the ones you just saw. That number is staggering. In order to cover the future costs of just one youth's criminal behavior, you would have to invest between $1.7 and $2.3 million today. When you look at it that way, it's easy to see how an investment in narrowly targeted intervention efforts, such as the Colin Powell Youth Leadership Center, is likely to pay for itself many times over. I was one time part of the problem. I sold drugs in this area. I used drugs in this area. I really feel if you're not part of a solution, you're part of a problem. And even though you might not sell drugs, even though you might not commit any crimes, if you stand by idly and watch those things happen, you're part of the problem. You know, if you don't band with your neighbor to try and uplift your neighbor, you're part of the problem. We would go to um, people and, and beg for uh, food and clothing just so we could spend our money on what we wanted to get high. Everything was sold just to supply our habit. Oh, man. I, um, I need some help. So that's why I went looking for help. And um, I went over to Urban Ventures. I'm beginning to really see the need that is going on here in the neighborhood, too. And I admire the way that they're handling it. So it's not an all-out war on uh, just slapping these peoples in prison and getting them out of our face. It's more of uh, trying to help them change their life. And then I like to see this person come back with a beautiful smile on their face saying, yeah, man, this, this is neat. I made it, you know. I love it. Nothing was good. Nothing was good at all. And you know, I was I was what some people call a problem child. Got kicked out of school all the time and different stuff like that. I would have little conversations with myself, you know, just thinking, maybe, what are you gonna do? You can't read and I and I just I don't know, I just I just didn't see myself doing anything past junior high. I did not see myself making it through high school, let alone going to college. I know that Trina invested her time in me and, and the difference that made in like how I view myself now. And I, I would just love to do that same thing for another little girl. You know, just spend a little time talking to her, taking her here, or, or just sitting with her, the, just the difference that makes it, and, and I hope that I could do that and do that with little girls and give them a little confidence, you know, tell them that they're smart and they're intelligent and that they can do it. With a little help, there's hope. Today's at-risk kids don't have to be tomorrow's financial burden. Break the cycle, make a significant donation, make a difference, and investment today pays huge dividends tomorrow. Help make the Colin Powell Center 
a reality. 